solve this system. Look at this guy. We have a circle equation, and we also have a linear equation. The circle equation is the x squared plus y squared equals 1, and your linear one is the other guy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a substitution to solve this. So I'm going to write the circle equation up there without the y because that's what I'm going to substitute in. You see, it says y equals. And so let's go ahead and substitute that in. We get 2x plus 2 to, for our y. And now we have to multiply that out. Make sure when you guys multiply this out that you multiply 2x plus 2 times 2x plus 2. And then when we do that, we get 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. Now, because this is a quadratic, we're going to want to put everything on one side, all the numbers, and so it should equal zero, and we're going to combine like terms. So when we combine like terms, we get 5x squared plus 8x plus 3, uh, and then the other side equals zero. We got the 3 because we subtracted 1 from both sides. Now we're going to have to try to factor this. Now, because it's a quadratic, we have ways to factor this. Uh, one way to do it is to take the 5 and the 3, and multiply those together to get 15 and your goal is to think about what numbers multiply to give me 15 but then add to give me eight and the only two numbers that i can think of are three and five three and five multiply to give me 15 they add to give me eight so then we write the three and the five instead of the eight we just split apart the eight right three x plus five x equals eight x so we're allowed to do that next i group the uh, first two terms and the last two terms i think about what i can divide out of the first two terms and I can divide an x so then I would get 5x plus 3 and then I think about the other one what can I divide out of that one and I can't divide anything out of it so I'm going to take out a 1 and uh, just keep the same thing 5x plus 3 which works because now we have now we can take out the 5x plus 3 3 from each of those terms and we're left with x plus 1 so we write x plus 1 and we get 0 now the zero product property says that only one of these factors has to be zero in order for this to equal zero, in order for it to be true. So we take each factor one at a time, one at a time, and we set it equal to zero to see uh, what the x would have to be in order to make that factor equal to zero. So if we do the x plus one, we get x, in my, uh, x equals negative one, which we already have, so we don't need that one. That was one of the solutions that the problem gave to us. And so the other factor, 5x uh, plus three, when we set that equal to zero, subtract 3 from both sides, and then divide both sides by 5, we get negative 3 over 5. That's going to be our x and our other points. To find the y value, we're going to take this x and we're going to plug it back into one of these. You can choose. Which one do you want to do? Um, well, I'm going to choose the easy one, the linear one. So I'm going to plug in negative 3 over 5 into that x, multiply it by 2, and then add 2. When I multiply 2 times negative 3 over 5, I get negative 6 over 5 plus the 2 and now to make common denominators, <clears throat> we get a 5 on a denominator, 10 on the top. Negative 6 plus 10 is going to give us 4 over 5, and that's our answer. That's how you do.